Today, we present the battlefield cross, a symbol of a fallen warrior. Its origin began in the Revolutionary War. Until then, the dead were buried where they died. The location and identity was marked with an inverted rifle with bayonet stuck in the ground and a hat on top of the rifle. Later, the remains were moved to a battlefield cemetery or sent home. This became a tradition through our wars, changing a little as time goes on. It's been an immediate means of showing respect to the dead among the still living in the battle. As a private ceremony for the living, as a means to mourn, as attending the funeral is not possible while you're still in the fight. Today, we choose the battlefield cross as a part of a memorial ceremony, as a visible reminder of a fallen service member. The helmet and identification tags signify the one lost will not be forgotten. The inverted rifle with the bayonet signals the time for prayer and a break in the action, pay tribute to our comrade. The war and boots represent the final march and the final last battle, death. Thank you. Good afternoon. Another comrade has been called to the high command. He has reported to the commander of all, the chaplain of police, offer of prayer. Lord, as you have our comrades soul in your possession, bless him, take care of him, we will be his friend. Put the earth to the rest until you come again. Today we honor the service of a man who once offered his life in the service of his country. This ceremony is traditional to fallen military members and veterans in recognition of their honorable service to a grateful nation. Because of them, we live in the land of the free. Because of them, the world is a better place. If you left behind, may you feel that he is at endless peace. Today we're going to do uh, the uh, military honors, which, uh, which will be uh, a firing squad followed by taps and then presentation of the flag. Uh, we will uh, we'll make some noise here. So anyway, we're here to uh, do that right now.
on behalf of the United States of America, the President, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag in honor of your loved ones, faithful, and good service to this country. Thank you. We thank you for your uh, the honor that you've given us to serve uh, your uh, uh, loved one today, and uh, we appreciate the honor, as always. God bless you all. God bless the United States of America. Thank you.